Welcome to AHRI Show 2015. Uh, heat transfer's got a lot of new stuff that I'd like to show you in the booth, so let's go take a look. Okay, the first product I'd like to show you is the Enduro TI. The Enduro TI is a very uh, robust, real durable commercial boiler that we're coming out with. The beauty of this type of a product and this type of commercial boiler is it doesn't need primary secondary. It's got a large content uh, inside the block uh, that's, uh, to give you an example, on our million BTU we have 61 gallons plus very low pressure drop. Uh, the pressure drop on our million BTU at 100 gallons a minute is less than two feet of drop. So it allows you to use variable speed pumping, direct flow through the heat exchanger itself. Another unique feature with the system is, as you can see here, it's a very durable construction. It's made of 316 uh, LTI uh, that gives you very durable, long-lasting heat exchanger for commercial. What the, the unit, the way it works is it's a reverse pass, so basically the flame goes down the center, comes back this pass, and then goes out this third pass here, where we're extracting the last bit of energy. 93, 92% AF uh, thermal efficiency, a uh, very high rated uh, unit. You can see here with the combustion system, this inward firing burner, very unique in its technology. Um, we are, right now, the combustion system is 5 to 1. We're working on a 15 to 1 version. Uh, we're also can tandem two of them up, as you see here. Uh, these are two uh, 750,000 BTU boilers put together. This gives you not only redundancy in your building, so if one goes down, the other one will take over, uh, but also what it does is it uh, gives you higher modulation. So standard modulation is 5 to 1. With two of them, you get 10 to 1 modulation plus the redundancy. We have uh, controls that will do a up to uh, 8 uh, connected boilers um, in, in a bank. We're going to supply reverse return manifolds with the bank of two. Um, this boiler right here, or these two boilers put together, uh, will give you about a million five. So we're going to have a number of different ranges right now. Uh, the second quarter of 2015, uh, we're going to have 750,000, a 900, and a million. And then we're going to come out with a million five, and then the two million uh, BTU. And then later on in the year, uh, at the end of the year, uh, going into 2016, we'll have a million five block. When you put two of them together, it'll go up to three million BTUs. So I think when you look at this type of construction, you look at the efficiency of the combustion system, you look at the durability, the way this thing sets up, the way it supplies heat uh, to large commercial buildings, really there's no other choice but the Enduro TI for your next commercial job. Really excited to uh, introduce our new line of residential boilers, uh, the UFT. Uh, this product line is going to be really solid as far as its BTU ranges, its design. It gives you a lot of options, uh, very well priced uh, as far as its price point. And so uh, I'm going to go over some of the features. The design of the system right now in the BTU ranges, we're going to have an 80,000 in UFT 80. We're going to have 100,000 BTUs. We're going to have 120, 140, and a 199. And all the boilers will fire at a 5 to 1 turndown. Um, they will be coming all wall mounted. All the connections, we have uh, connections on the top of the unit, which are inch and a quarter. And we have connections on the bottom of the unit that are inch and a quarter. So what a customer can do is run his central heating loops off the top of the unit. And then on the bottom of the unit, what he can do is run his indirect fired water heater. Uh, that makes piping real simple. It makes your job as far as what your piping is doing uh, less complicated. And another feature which is really, really great about this heater is we have a built-in pump. And what we did is we basically put the primary circuit and its piping internal to the boiler. So all you have to do is connect your return and supply to your central leading loop or to your indirect. And there's no additional piping. The pump is built in for your primary loop and then you just go off to your secondary loops, your zones or pumps or whatever you have. So that's a real key feature. It's internal to the boiler. We have our terminal strip and wiring is real easy to get to. We have line voltage circuits. We got two pump out, uh, outputs. We got zero to 10 volt on the low voltage side. We're gonna be able to cascade with the single vent because we've got a check system in the unit. Um, we can go uh, zero to 10 volt input, TT, outdoor sensor number of different features and the beautiful part about this the best part about the unit is its heat exchangers the pan over here you'll see this heat exchanger 
This heat exchanger is really, really durable. It's a fire tube based design, which has a really good reputation in the industry. It's got some volume, very low pressure drop. Uh, and for a straight hydronic boiler, really it's the, your only choice when it comes to residential. So we're really excited about our new UFT. Uh, we think it's one of the top boilers on the market and definitely the best value. You can see the aesthetics of the unit. If you look at the cabinet, the cabinet's going to have a very unique design, uh, very uh, elegant design. Uh, so it, it, it's going to consume a lot of value to the homeowner. And again, it's going to eliminate a lot of piping, a lot of time on installation. It has a lot of built-in features that I'm sure you're going to love. So the UFT, again, that's going to be your boiler for residential installations. Our RT, our HydroSmart uh, tankless water heaters, 10 to 1 turndown, uh, 0.98 uh, EF, really highly efficient. One of the things we're introducing is its ability now to cascade. Not only are we going to be able to cascade, but we're coming out with a model that will actually go up to 180 degrees as a commercial unit. Uh, but this cascading will allow you to do up to the potential of uh, 16 heaters tandem uh, with a single vent. Uh, it makes the cost of a commercial job very, very competitive. Um, and the cascading each unit uh, can be cascaded uh, in reverse return piping. Uh, there's isolation aspects of the unit. so. When there's low flow, it's only going to flow through one unit, and as the flow and the demand starts going up, we have isolation, so there will be no flow through the second unit that's connected in this little installation here that we're showing. Um, as the demand increases, we'll open up the flow into this unit, um, and then we'll fire them both up, and then we'll ramp the fan speed up in order to accommodate the hot water demand. So commercially, uh, the HydroSmart Plus and uh, its ability to do commercial, large commercial jobs, and also with our new commercial model coming out, uh, will really be a solid, solid product line. Um, the RT has been out for uh, about a year and a half now for residential use, and now we're expanding it into the commercial room. So this gives you an idea of what you can do with cascaded venting, so we're excited to introduce that at the EHRI show, and uh, we're going to have the rollout happening uh, in the second quarter of 2015 this year, so we wanted to show our customers what its capabilities are. The heat exchangers, this is our RT, our standard RT heat exchanger. One thing you'll notice right away are the tube sizes, and then you can see that they're oval in diameter. Not only does that minimize pressure drop through the heat exchanger, but the volume of water through these heat exchangers is a lot greater than our that you'll see with other tankless heaters. And you can see on the outside, we have this oval shape, which really cools the outside jacketing, maximizes the heat transfer capability of the system, and the diameter really lowers uh, the pressure drop that you have in the system itself. And then, so this is the primary, it's made out of stainless steel, and the bottom, the secondary is made out of stainless steel. So the whole construction of the tankless heater is uh, all stainless steel. And this is where we take the exhaust, drive it down, drive it out, and we bring the coldest return water back when we're, when we're basically drawing domestic water through the bottom, and we're taking and just uh, wringing out the last bit of energy before we exhaust it outside. And it's amazing when you're running 140 degree water temperatures on your outlet for this, uh, the temperatures on the vent are 100, 110 degrees F, so you can vent it in PVC. So the standard RT is a really highly efficient heat exchanger. Okay, the RT is our uh, entry level product for tankless water heating, which we introduced uh, last year um, at the AHRI 2015, uh, 2014. We've now expanded the line. Uh, what we have today is we have our new HydroSmart Plus, which you can see here. Uh, the HydroSmart Plus and the features of this is this is loaded. It's got a lot of features uh, that will really, really bring it to the top or the pinnacle of uh, you know tankless water heating. Uh, you can see when we have a pump built in. So this is now the HydroSmart Plus. The standard HydroSmart is our entry level product. It doesn't have research capabilities. The HydroSmart Plus does have research capabilities. It's got it built in and it's got a number of different research methodologies you can use in setting up your research line in your house. Um, I have been running mine for about a year and it works great. Uh, basically the research line, you turn on the hot water in any sink in the house um, and you have instant hot water. Um, the programming is really easy, you can do it based on time. We have what's called a pulse mode we can do. 
We have variations in the temperature gradients you can do on your recirc line in order to uh, minimize short cycling. Um, we have really the total system control within this uh, that provides the information and the setup when you're doing a recirc line is really, really advanced and will give you and your customers not only the high efficiency but give you hot water when you need it at the taps and supply a really efficient uh, product. We also have some additional features in here. We have a, uh, a sensor, a water sensor in here, so if there's a leak for whatever reason, the sensor will detect and basically shut down the heater, which will obviously alert the occupants because they won't have hot water in the house that there's a problem and the code will show up on the window. Uh, we have gas leak detection in this and a lot of the same features that you see with our standard HydroSmart are now in the HydroSmart Plus. But the real thing that's the real advantage to this is it's built in its pump, its control capability to set it up a number of different ways, and its ability to uh, connect up to a research line and operate extremely efficiency. The logic in that total system control is really advanced to keep the system running at a very optimal efficiency and provide the hot water at the sink when you need it. So again, the HydroSmart Plus, new aspect to the product line, added to our standard HydroSmart. So we have now our HydroSmart, our RT, what we call our RT uh, model 199, and now we have our RTP 199, and that's the built-in pump for the recirculation. The RTP heat exchanger, the HydroSmart Plus. The plus part of it is again, the built-in pump, uh, the recirc capability, but the heat exchanger is more advanced. It's a plate type versus the standard tube type that we have in our standard uh, RT model, our residential model. The RTP um, is also a residential model um, and it has the same type of upper exchanger with the advanced uh, and the larger diameter tubes. You can see that they're oval so it really maintains a cool jacket temperature, transfers large amount of energy. And then the internal heat exchanger is different. It's a plate type, which gives you additional transfer as you're doing research and uh, as you're basically utilizing these to uh, supply hot water uh, in the research line that goes throughout the house to individual sinks. So when you turn on the tap, you have hot water instantly and you're not waiting. Um, so the advanced nature of this heat exchanger is really, really, uh, it's durability, it's flow capabilities, it's uh, combustion, the, the whole bit of the heat exchanger itself is very, very advanced and well constructed. The plates on here are a little different on the RTP and the, the reason for that is, is you get there's more surface area and the surface area is really the key to extracting energy. Any heat exchanger, the more surface area you have, the better you can transfer that energy. So there's a little bit more plates here. Keep in mind we have a pump, we have some additional piping. So the energy factor will be a little less, but we've actually added to the heat exchanger to improve the overall efficiency. I want to go over the EFTC uh, wall hung combi unit. Uh, we introduced this at the 2014 AHRI. Well, we've expanded the line. Um, June of this year, we'll have 199,000 BTU. Uh, it'll be in a little bit bigger box, uh, but a very uh, compact design, similar to what we came out with the 140. We have the tank over here that'll be have a heat exchanger internal to it. The water flow, the boiler water flow goes through the tank. And the domestic water goes through these, which there's a highly efficient heat exchanger in there made constructed all of stainless steel. The boiler is all constructed of 360 now, including the tank. So you got extreme durability, especially in a boiler or closed loop uh, uh, design. Uh, your connections on this are on the bottom, both domestically and for your uh, boiler connections. Uh, your panel uh, will now, what we're introducing in uh, mid-year, is we're going to have the ability to run a pump output for your central heating loop. Uh, we have a built-in pump for your primary loop and a three-way valve, but what we're doing is we're going to add an additional output as an additional feature. So you eliminate a relay from a job if you have a single zone system with multiple zone valves. So that will reduce costs, simplify the installation, um, and really make the unit uh, uh, more advanced than it already is. So we're really excited about coming out with the, uh, the bigger model coming into the second half of uh, 2015 and uh, the model that we have today. All right, I want to show you the Elite Premium. The Elite Premium really advanced. What we've done is we've taken our standard Elite, 
We've changed the combustion system. I can pull the cover off and kind of show you what we've got going on here. Uh, we've taken the wiring out, but it'll give you a basic idea of what we're doing. We've got our control circuitry. This is now switch mode. We've got a lot of features. We're going to have a pump output for 0 to 10 volt, so we can actually modulate the pump, modulate with the rate of the boiler at the same time. Uh, when I open the door here, one of the things you're going to notice with the combustion system is we've got a new Venturi system which allows us to go 10 to 1. So what that means is, is we have an 80,000 BTU boiler, we can go down to 8,000 BTUs really, really low at the low end. So we don't need to go primary, secondary. We can utilize a single pump to really flow through the systems, eliminating the, uh, the uh, uh, use of a primary, secondary circuitry like we normally would have. Uh, the Venturi is real simple. It's got a little, it's, it's basically segmented in the middle with a, with a flapper. It's mechanical, so there's no electronics, none of that fancy stuff that can go wrong. It's just a mechanical damper that dampens the air. So as we start getting into low, low flow rates or low, low, uh, com uh, where we require low combustion uh, numbers, uh, we can just throttle that back. It sends a better signal to the valve and allows us to give you that eight to one, uh, 10 to 1 turn down. So an 80,000 boiler, like I said before, 80,000 can go down to 8,000 BTUs, which is really low. Compact design with our standard heat exchanger that we have. Uh, a lot of guys like this because it's floor mounted capability. You can do floor or wall. A lot of features with this, but the main, the real main thing is the 10 to 1 turn down with the Elite Premium. Uh, the outputs for the pump, which is really, really nice because a lot of people are using variable speed pumping. So now we can make the pump and the flow match what the boiler's doing, which is really nice. And the combustion system is really, really advanced. So we're really excited about this product. We think it's going to be, uh, you know, recognized as one of the top boilers out there. One of the things I want to show you is HDP has always been and been involved. Uh, this is our brand of solar, solar panels. Uh, we are now incorporating that into our product line where we're going to be able to uh, sell uh, different size solar panels to go along with our tanks. We have various tanks with electric backup, gas backup, highly advanced system. This is our new panel that we're showing. It's basically laser welding, really high efficiency for thermal hot water systems. We're starting to do more and more heating systems uh, with our solar thermal panels. And customers are becoming more and more interested as costs continue to rise and people are looking to offset their utility bills. A PV has become very popular in the U.S. And solar thermal is starting to come along for the ride. So we have a very advanced panel system, laser welded, selective coating, very nice looking aesthetic panel that can go on the roof and basically can supply domestic hot water. And then with multiple panels, we can even back feed and do heating with it. So we can do not only hot water with your solar panels, but we can do your heating. So there's a lot of interest when it comes to solar and where solar is heading. We're excited about the future of solar. We think it's going to expand. Uh, we're betting on it. We have uh, advanced manufacturing capability. And we're excited to uh, now have the Solar Skies brand wrap into the HDP distribution. And we're going to connect them up to our tanks and our various products. And uh, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for our company. Okay, I want to show you our ultra-thin water fan coil. Basically, it's a terminal unit. This provides heating. It can even provide air conditioning for the home. Um, if you have a hot water source, a boiler, uh, it supplies hot water to, it's just like baseboard. Um, there's a fan in here, a very uh, small fan, DC fan that runs very quietly and moves the air from the bottom of the unit out and discharges into the living space. It's highly efficient, real compact, about five inches in depth, and various lengths for BTU ranges. It works on very low temperatures, so with high efficiency boilers, it really enhances their efficiency level versus traditional baseboard that has to run at a much higher temperature. Um, and then it convex heat versus this that actually has a fan in it. And then can blow a small, a small amount of air. It doesn't blow air where it gets uncomfortable. It's a very low fan speed. And basically it senses the air room temperature. It's got its own stat. It's very elegant in its design. It's got a built-in three-way valve. So as you require more heat, the three-way valve allows water to come into the heat exchanger. The fan will ramp up. It'll basically transfer that energy into the room, hitting your desired set point for what you want. So you can do zoning, you can do 
zone controlling in each bedroom if you want, living spaces, whatever you need. And again, um, it's got this extremely highly efficient transfer of the large coil surface that we have inside. Allows us to run real low temperatures where traditional baseboard can't and other heat transmitters can. So what we're doing at HGP is we're trying to enhance the product offering we have by looking at the complete system. And this is a first step to get into that. And what we're looking at is these ultra high fan coils uh, that really enhance the overall system design and comfort level. It really gives you a nice aesthetic advanced look that's not out in the industry. The old baseboard convectors that you have uh, really are not uh, appealing um, and don't really have the design or the, 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 the technical aspect that this product does. So we're really excited about this. Uh, we'll have various sizes. We've got right now, we've got five different models that we're coming out with to get started. And as we start to see the demand, we'll expand the market even further. But this will be our uh, ultra thin uh, fan coils that we're gonna be introducing in uh, 2015. And check it out on our website. It's gonna be real exciting. I think you're gonna really, this is gonna have a big appeal in the marketplace. Okay, HTP is looking at all various types of devices other than our traditional hydronic equipment that we do, combi boilers, larger boilers. So we're starting to get look at, you know, expanding our offering um, and that includes the terminal units which I went over earlier um, in 2015. And then we're looking at also uh, heat, uh, heat recovery ventilators that provide air purification at the same time. And this is a small uh, uh, room unit where the air gets dispensed here. We basically draw air from outside. There is a, a HRV coil in here where we're, we're wiping the air coming out of the house and then bringing fresh air from outside in. We're transferring that energy very efficiently so there's very little heat loss between what's going, taking that energy going from outside and then coming back in and basically warming it up with that heat exchanger. And then we have filters, a number of different filters, which basically clean the air as we bring it in and then as we recirculate some of the air in the house also. So not only does this, this is an HRV, but it also is a heat recovery ventilator. And some of the nice thing about this product is it's got a very elegant look. It tells you what the system is, what your air quality is. Um, it has a remote connection, an app for it where you can actually go in and see what your air quality. So if there's pollen in the air, dirt, uh, smog, uh, any pollutants, this will take that air, it'll clean it up, it'll recover any energy as it starts to uh, bring air from outside, and it'll dispense it in the house through this fan. And again, it's just another way of us supplying better comfort, better quality, uh, to the homeowner to clean up the air inside and to, as these houses get tighter, um, really uh, provide a, a different approach. You know, most people will have HRVs, but they won't have the air, they'll have a separate air purifier. This is all built into one. So check it out, it's called our air purifier heat recovery ventilator. It's new on the market, it's really unique. We have a number of different features here where you can look at the operation of the system and you just highlight it and it'll index. It'll tell you what's happening at night if you have setback or different uh, uh, modes of operation you want as far as bringing air into the house, air cleaning, or uh, uh, working indoors. Um, if you look here, you can basically you can bring fresh air from outside. You can turn the fresh air off and recirc inside. You can put it on auto where it'll automatically uh, measure uh, the air quality periodically and then bring outside air in to uh, make sure that it's nice and clean and the levels stay within uh, uh, reason for uh, clean air standards. And you can see that here with your CO2, your outdoor air, and your different measurements. So very intuitive panel, um, easy to use. Um, and gives you a lot of information. Okay, HCP is really, we're really excited about heat pumps and where heat pumps are going. Heat pumps, if you're not aware, heat pumps in the 2015, there's a new standard, so anything 55 gallon above really has to be a heat pump. Um, and DOE is doing this because they want people to use more efficient, uh, and they want to be more efficient about using less energy in the heat pump will give you a very high, what they call coefficient. Coefficient of performance on this unit is close to three. So that means for every watt of energy, you get three out. 
which is amazing if you think about it. So it's almost like electric cars, things of that nature. The efficiencies are going to be very, very high when it comes to uh, heat pump water heaters. We have an 80 gallon uh, heat pump water heater, which is the offering we have because with the heat pump water heater, there's some benefits and there's some things you have to be careful. The recovery when you're running the heat pump takes a little longer. It's a lot more efficient than resistant. Again, that COP of three to one, it's unbelievable, but it takes longer to heat your hot water. So that's why an 80 gallon tank makes more sense. We have a very intuitive panel here where there's a number of different modes you can have. Uh, you can, they have vacation mode, you can have uh, time setback where you can raise and lower the temperature of the tank. Um, one of the real nice features about a heat pump is the heat pump actually on the discharge side, you can see our little T here. What we're doing is, if you look at the drawing over here, and come over on this side, you can see a little bit better through the illustration with this T, is we can actually duct the air, the cool air, to areas that you need it. So as the unit's producing hot water, its byproduct is cool air. So we're blowing this cool air through these discharge ducts. And basically this air, or this air conditioning, is free. So as you're producing hot water, and you're doing it at a coefficient of three to one, you're getting air conditioning as a byproduct of the whole process, which is really, really nice. Now, the reason why we have this little device here and this flex hose is because we got inducted to an area that you want to use the AC when you need it, and there's a little flapper valve in here. The flapper valve will either open the air and discharge it here and close it off here, or let's say you're in New England, and in the summertime, you want to utilize this cool air. And you want to cool off your house. You just flip the valve that comes out of this discharge. You can see it in the picture here. We were discharging in the kitchen. Or during the wintertime where it's colder and you really don't want to uh, cool off specific areas, you've got to heat those areas. You just take your discharge and we can put the discharge and hook that up to outside or in a basement to dehumidify. So there's a lot of advantages to this system. On the top, you can't see it here, but you can see it better on the illustration here, is we have the ability to even take the air inlet and draw air from attics, from different areas. And the reason why that's important is the warmer the climate, the way this heat pump works, the more efficient it is. So we could physically draw the air from, the, from your attic and then discharge back into the attic to put the cool, dry air and basically lower your overall energy consumption. So there's a lot of neat things we can do with this. I'd like to introduce you to our new uh, commercial heat pump uh, water heater. This heat pump is actually two compressors inside this box here. Uh, it can give you up to uh, 20,000 BTUs of heating. Uh, its coefficients of performance are somewhere in the three range. Really high in efficiency. Um, it's electric. And we can hook it up to various storage tanks. We can have backup elements that we can provide with the product. So if the heat pump's not keep, keeping up, we can kick on the electric elements. But the majority of the work is done through the heat pump to maintain the temperatures. Um, and then the electric resistant or a heat exchanger hooked up to a solar panel uh, or some other gas fired source. We can uh, combine this with other uh, internal uh, heat sources to really provide extra recovery and high efficiency when you need it, let the heat pump do the, the majority of the work to reduce your overall cost. Uh, heat pumps are going to become more and more part of the landscape in water heating. The new standards uh, that are coming in on 20, uh, 2015 are going to require heat pump water heaters uh, 55 gallon or above. So we feel that commercial heat pump water heating is going to expand in the U.S. and uh, that's why we're looking at the first commercial uh, heat pump tied to uh, a storage tank as a single system in the U.S. And you can see here, this is the box here. We have two compressors. We have our heat exchanger inside with our pump and our flow switch. And basically when there's a demand, there's a sensor. You can set your temperatures through the panel here. Once it sees a drop in temperature, it'll turn the heat pump on and the pump. There's a heat exchanger inside that transfers energy from the uh, refrigerant, the heated refrigerant, into the tank to heat the water rapidly and to provide uh, high efficiency. So heat pumps are going to be the future, we feel, uh, in electric heating and uh, uh, we're just trying to advance and be a step ahead, ahead of our competitors by providing uh, the first uh, commercial uh, integrated tank and heat pump uh, design.